now I'm in my UI, the user interface, and here I'm looking at a blank, whole blank user interface. Now I was working with it before, so I'm gonna come back to here. This asterisk next to the name means that, do I wanna save because changes have been made? So I don't wanna save, I'm gonna just say I want new again, and I say discard whatever changes I made, and now we have new project. So this is the UI, of course, and here we have library and files. Here I have that here too as well, where I can see files. Of course, here's my logo. I click on that, I get to see what's going on with the latest software I'm using. Here I can also look at the same menu on top. I can come to view here and I say, you know, my let's go full screen. So I come and I go to full screen. When I go to full screen, we have full screen, I change the view. And now I can use the menu here rather than the menu that would be on top. I may want to go back to here. You can see it's been selected. I'll just unselect that. And now we're back to just the view. And our menu on top will be here for machine two. Now here, this is sort of magnified, but actually this opens up the browser. So once I've loaded sounds into the project or whatever, I'll just close my browser out and get a much wider view of what's going on, how I'm working, which is always cool to have. Now here also we have this part here, and this is like a mixer. So I come to here and I can see the mixer that I have for my project. This would be the group. I'd have a mixer for each one of the sounds in the group. And here I can add IO. Here we have IO. We have plugins and go here. I can use an aux here for auxiliary sends. And of course my master is here, right here. And the headset could be right there, right? Let's leave that right now. And back to master. And this will be our mix. We'll, we'll explain more as we build up some tracks, but it's good to know where it's at. I'll close this out now, and we're back to scenes on top here. Here in the middle, we have our control section. We have our master, group, and sounds. We have plugin, and here we have the I.O. Inputs and outputs. As we send stuff around inside our mixing system. And here we have a group. So I have one group selected so far. I can many more groups but each group has 16 different sound slots where I can actually come to here, I can increase the volume or come to here, I can pan left or right. Of course, I go up to here, I may have extra parts I wanna save here. Like for example, I may have something in there, so I come to here in a group and I'm here, I may have extra different patterns that would be here. Now also, I come to here, right in seeing the group, I can see the sounds here and trigger some sounds in the group if I want to, which we'll cover later on. I wanna get you familiar with the UI. Now here, I can pull this down. I have automation lanes right here and pages are here too as well. Let's turn that back. And of course here, we have our piano roll here, right? And here, we can have our samples. So each sound is a sample sound. I will see it here. I can edit those sounds here in the sample section. Let's turn this off and we're back here in our group. Let's leave the pads. And now we just see the sound slots for each sound. Otherwise here, of course, would be the pad. I would trigger each sound. Now below here we see our key. We can see the choke and the link. Choke means I can mute something out or cut something off if something else is playing. We'll explain that later on, but of course, I just wanna get you familiar with this. And down here we have our lanes. I can have um, lanes for anything. We'll say it could be parameters for velocity, right? Or parameters for TC control. It'll appear here. See that? Here's velocity right here. And I can add more. Come to add, I can add elements. And here again, I can see it in terms of a graph-like. And of course, I can write, right? I'll come in and write something in. Write something right there, I wrote it. I can undo too, of course. And here we see we're in 16th notes here for our two bar sequence. I can also go here in the UI and just pull this out here and I can see the actual length is two bars. I see here length, it says two bars. I can see here, start is on one. I move this over to, let's see, so we can grab this over here. I can't move it currently. 
what I'll do is I'll press, well, I don't think you can actually press play from, but I would be able to move this here over to the left, to the right rather. And of course here I can take audio files and pull them out to the desktop or MIDI files, which we'll cover later on. But I want to get you familiar with the user interface totally. And up here we have our audio. And of course, how much CPU is right here. And this could be on or off. Now, let's go over something here, the library. This is very important. My library is here and this is a browser section. I can open and close here again. And here's my library full of stuff. I've got projects, I've got groups, we have all sounds, I have all instruments, I've got bass you can see, synth, drums, keyboards, all kind of stuff here, this is awesome. And here I have effects, I've got amp cabinets, characters, I've got delays, distortion, dynamics like compressions and gates, I've got EQs, filters, just everything's here. Once I grab and see a reverb, then I'll have a list below that here which type of reverbs I can use and the characters who would be guitar and synth here, right? Kind of cool. Well, let's come to creative. Well, I'll come into hall reverbs. And I've got specific type of effects I can use. And of course, these effects are presets. So I'll just pull it in, the effect will come in, but they're presets for the selected sounds. For example, here it says bathroom, and it says reverb. That would be the reverberation that happens inside a bathroom. Now over here, we have loops, and here we have loops. As you can see here, there are a lot of loops in here, I think. This is like probably a lot. There's a loop right there. Another one here. Kick, these are kick loops. Let's go further up here. Let's move up here and see what we got here. It's guitar, what is this? Oh, more loops there. Okay, let's go to that one. That's a guitar. So check this out. We're hearing that now, and it's coming through the system, and it's coming through our computer. Up in the upper right-hand corner here, you'll see we have faders, and we have this little triangle pointed up. And of course, CPU next to it. How much CPU we're using, very little, obviously. So if I click this, we don't hear it, don't see it here. Now I'm going to go back to my lanes here. I have these slots, right? And I'll select this one here. I'll click this twice. And now we see it appears here. Now you'll notice here the CPU now is just sort of blinking now. Something's in there. Now if I come to here again, wait, let's click it here. Okay, that's loud. See that? That's coming in through the system. There's a difference here. When I play it back and it's not in the sound slot, you're hearing it back through the computer system that I'm using. When I put it in the sound slot, it's going through the mixing board and the system inside this uh, Machine 2 software, and then it appears here and we can see the VU meters right there. I can control this, so I'll put this down here, hold it down. And so you see it, I can control that volume up or down right here. So be aware of that, because sometimes you'll be low here, you put it in here and it'll be really loud. So always bring this down to a pretty low here until you can get adjust the sound and get an overall level that you prefer to have.